are you in for a treat? Your next guest is a very interesting guy. I've been working with him for a while. Uh, you're going to really have to think with this guy because he's really intelligent. Please put your hands together for the very interesting Mr. Jeff Hobbs. I can't see my penis anymore. Not after what it did to me. Also, hi, by the way, I probably should have led with that. But, uh, hi. Uh, they say that uh, doing some crowd work is the easiest way to get people on your side. So what do you think? Should we kick things off, right? Do some crowd work? Would that be fun? You think that'd be fun? Or fun? Yeah, that was pretty fun. I finally gave uh, into peer pressure. Got myself one of those uh, carbon monoxide detectors, you know? And you know what? It actually, it actually explained a lot about the last few months. So there you go. Progress. <laughs> I don't know if you ever used one of these things, but they're supposed to beep if there's a problem, right? So I plugged it in and it just flatlined it. I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> but I mean, I guess in hindsight, I should have realized something was up when I uh, put my key in the front door and turned it. The whole house revved like an engine. <laughs> anyway, so I was walking on the beach with Jesus, right? <laughs> and uh, when I turned around, I saw there was only one set of footprints in the same. Jesus, I said to Jesus. <laughs> He told me if I chose to walk, he'd always be there for me. <laughs> but in my times of struggle and hardship, when I need you most, there's only one set of footprints in the sand. Where were you? And uh, Jesus looked down upon me, or the other colleagues looked at me at this point, and he said, I've always been with you, my child. I was just walking on the water. I don't know if you read my book, that's kind of like my whole thing, you know? <laughs> I had a pretty sheltered childhood, because I lived in a home. <laughs> now I live in a mobile home, where you prunes call it a car. <laughs> Which, think you might have explained the uh, engine th thing from earlier, I don't know. You might be wondering, well, Jeff, how the heck do you get a gas leak in a car? I have a theory. See, I got a hose hooked up to the exhaust pipe, right? That leads right back in through the window. Because I believe in recycling, goddammit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a pretty forgetful person, in that order. <laughs> so I like to have a piece of paper on stage with all my jokes to help keep us on track, you know? I'm also a pretty forgetful person, in that order. <laughs> so I like to have a paper on stage with me, just to help you keep track of... Uh... I'm a pretty forgetful person. The other day my mom sat me down, she said, Jeff, I'm assuming she was talking to me. Memory issues are getting worse. You should really go see that doctor. And I was like, memory issues? And I was like, memory issues? Well, that's the first I'm hearing about this. I'm a pretty forgetful. Okay, we're gonna move on. Hey, I'm gonna see magic trick. Yeah! Yeah, me too. Joggers run in my family. <laughs> the secret to making the driest martini is to put the little umbrella in the glass before you pour the liquid. <laughs> my friend is a working class prostitute. She's a real jacks off all trades, you know? <laughs> wow indeed. How does he do it, folks? <laughs> I went to a glory hole, seeking salvation. <laughs> Sorry, salivation. <laughs> All witches drive stick. <laughs> I got a raccoon trap, but it didn't work. So I threw it in the garbage, and then it worked. <laughs> a necklace is a pretty bad gift to get for someone who is necklace. 
<laughs> Kiki Duck, what's it looking at? <laughs> Waffle House, better not rain. Wishing well, sure am. <laughs> Open house, you mean a gazebo? Firework, it sure does. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to do another hour of that, but apparently I'm done. So thank you so much. <laughs>